beautiful it is here in Coachella Valley, but but spiritually, I wonder how it is. I want to pray for Coachella Valley and invite anybody here who has not committed their life to God and accepted Jesus Christ as Savior to do so. To repent and be baptized. We're all sinners. We all need Jesus. We all need forgiveness and grace and mercy. So I hope you're uh, ready to make that commitment and be baptized in the Spirit. You can say to Jesus, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I commit my life to you. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And by virtue of your faith, not the baptism, baptism is a symbol. Uh, you are now a Christian, a member of the body of Christ, family of God. Welcome. You're on your way to heaven. And uh, you just made the biggest, most important decision of your life. God be with you and bless you. I have more to tell you or if you have any questions you can message me on YouTube. And so stay tuned for another uh, another video uh, or uh, more in, in the same video if I can attach it or else in the description box below. Separation from God is what they call hell. It's not God sending you to hell, it's your, cho it's your choice. You have the option to be with God or not to be with God. And that's all it comes down to. So, if you're ready to say to Jesus, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit here in Coachella Valley. And you are now a Christian. On your way to heaven. Congratulations. Welcome to the body of Christ, the family of God. You're now my brother or sister. You can call me brother. And uh, you're on your way to heaven. So I have a lot more to tell you. And hang in there. If I don't get it on the video, read in the description box below. God be with you and bless you. As much as possible. The Bible says pray without ceasing. So you're talking to God, asking Him for his guidance, direction, his presence in your life. Always praying according to God's will, not your own will. And you're praying for others. Yes, your family, friends, and loved ones, but also your enemies, people you don't know, strangers, even terrorists, ISIS, people who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior. I want to pray for them to come to know Christ, just like you have today. And you want to become an evangelist and tell them the good news as well. That's our job. Once you become a Christian, we're all called to be evangelists and tell the good news of Jesus Christ. Not in a complicated way. You, you don't have to be a preacher to do that. Go to seminary to tell the good news. You can do like I'm doing right here. Just a little longer than you might do as a new Christian. Yeah, or you can just do a simple, hey, Jesus loves you. Do you know that? do that. God loves you. You know that? You can write a note to somebody and put it under their windshield wiper. Encourage them. God is love. Be kind. God is love. Love one another. Things like that. 